Good morning from quite possibly our favorite place in Orlando, Discovery Cove. So we're super excited to be here today because Discovery Cove has rolled out two new offerings and we've been here quite a few times, so we're always excited to see the new stuff. They are now offering in-park massages. They invited us to come try it out. I cannot wait, I'm so excited. We've had just kind of like, you know, like with all of our traveling and everything, I think this is gonna be the perfect, perfect day. They have also rolled out a behind the scenes tour, which is amazing. That's something that I've always been interested about here, especially, so we're gonna check that out today too. Yeah, let's do it. Our very first view into the park. Such a beautiful park. There's birds, they're like grooming each other. So Discovery Cove was nice enough to provide us with a cabana. I can't believe this. This is literally like a dream. Look. Yeah, look. We just go into the woods here, or into the, the jungle. I didn't even know there this was a cabana here. Reserved for Tracker. And we're going in. I honestly feel like I'm in a paradise. This is so amazing. Yeah, and here's our cabana, which comes with a refrigerator that is fully stocked with sodas and drinks. And they're gonna bring a couple of beers too. They'll bring you and beers. A, a snack box, so we'll yeah. get some like cookies and chips and things like that. But look at this view. This is our view of the Dolphin Lagoon right here. There's some people interacting with a dolphin right there. And there's also a hammock here for us to sleep in. Like have a nice relaxing, relaxing relax here in the, in the hammock. There's also a little locker here for us to put our stuff in so we don't have to worry about it. Just put my backpack in there and uh, head out. Head out for the day. This is amazing. Let's go get some breakfast. I'm hungry, yeah, let's do it. Another new thing here at Discovery Cove are these little loungy area things. Are these for anyone? I don't know. That's a good question. I believe so. Oh, I know. Nice. So we did find out that those are those are a reserve only. Somebody paid for that, and then as soon as I sat down in it, they walked up and they go, she was in our bed. Oh no, <laughs> that was my porridge. Sorry. So one of the greatest things about Discovery Cove is that it is all inclusive. So we're going to get breakfast right now, and that's included. Lunch is included, uh, snacks are included, drinks are included, beer and wine are included. They do have a upgraded drink package where you can get like tropical drinks. So we're gonna head into Laguna Grill, which is where we get our breakfast and our lunch. And it's basically like a like a buffet almost. There's eggs and potatoes and sausage and bacon and French toast and biscuits and oatmeal and grits, some fresh fruit, hard boiled eggs that are already peeled for you. More bananas and danishes. Oh yeah, I want that. I want a lot of that. Here's my breakfast, and the good thing is I can go back and get more if I want to, up until 10.30, and it's 9.30 now, so I've got an hour to eat all this food, then go back and get more food. And I got an orange juice too. And then Jen did get some fresh fruit and some danishes, like a little croissant there it looks like, some grits, and then there's her potatoes and breakfast and everything. It all looks pretty darn good. So one thing to remember about Discovery Cove is that when you come here, you have to use their special animal-friendly sunscreen so that it doesn't harm the animals in the reef when you go diving with the rays and stuff like that. Now that we're all sunscreened up, let's go into the Lazy River, the freshwater Lazy River to relax. I like that idea. How are you doing over here? This is one of my favorite places in the whole park because they have these seats that are attached to the ground. You can sit in the water, it's very warm. You're allowed to have drinks and stuff in this part of the pool. Mm -hmm. And you can just sit here with your little, your little footstool and relax. These aren't actually attached to the bottom, they're just really heavy. Oh, can you, can you move them? Yeah, if you are very strong, yeah. Well, for me, they're attached. <laughs> now it is time for us to go on the behind the scenes tour, which is called the Animal Trek. Hopefully we get to meet a lot of animal ambassadors. From what I was reading, we might get to meet a sloth. You guys Ooh. know that we like meeting sloths. For our Animal Trek, we have to check in here at Guest Services, which is right next to the last gift shop before you head out, right across from where you get your pictures, and sort of just to the side of the Laguna Grill where you get your breakfast and lunch. So what we're doing right now is the Animal Trek, which is a 90 minute tour of small mammals and birds with 
and then later we're going to do the relaxation massage for 25 minutes at $59. Here's how much those day beds were that we saw that Jen sat in. All right, you guys ready to go see some birds? Mm. Mm -hmm. It's a multi-species aviary bird from all over the world, so from Africa, Australia, Asia. I absolutely love oh these God. little guys. So our mouse birds are really cool. They're native to Africa. They're their own little family. The reason why they're called mouse birds, if you look at them, the way they sound, um, they almost look furry rather than feathery. And when you guys see them, when they land on the bike, he go. <laughs> she landed on me, Jen. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, probably me. Yeah. So believe it or not, these guys too also have their name and we can tell them all apart. Some of them, even just by looking at them, they have like either more yellow than high or shorter breasts. You're a Disney princess now. Oh, no, that one's been chomping. How many, how many Disney princesses have bird poop all over them? Oh look, you stole mine from me. What the heck? Here, this one right here. Come on. Come on. Oh my god! He's like, mom, oh my god. Yeah, he's really cool. He's out of the net. I know. Yeah. We have birds. <laughs> Bye! Oh, hello. I love the mouse Did you hear that? He said, look at all those chickens. What is that? Look at all those chickens. Oh. Now, these guys are what are known as military macaws. They're named for their coloration and they're exclusively flighted, so their wings are not trimmed in any way. Oh, no. All right, it's Jen's turn. Oh, you Ooh. Them too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're everywhere. <laughs> you got birds on you. Yeah, I think so. I had it on. I don't know about that hat. Gary is the world's slowest eater. Wow. I'm over, I'm, over, I'm over here. Oh wow. <laughs> that was awesome. Right over to that window over there. We're going with Danielle over to see the otter window here. So these are Asian small town oh. otters. <laughs> There's three of them in here. Yeah. They are um, six years old. But they're full grown. They won't get any bigger oh. than this. <laughs> They are a small species of otter that you find in southern China and Indonesia. I did bring some some treats out for them for you guys to give them today. Um, so I have some ice cubes which they really like playing with, but I also have some of their food, their lake smells. Um, it's a type of fish that they eat. Jen's gonna feed the otters. Well, there it is. Oh, I love it. Like that. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Working, but I'm holding it. Yeah, all at once. So we're dumping in it's some of these fish the and some ice. Lake smell and ice. Smell. And it just pops right out of here. Oh, you got it. They're so quick. This is like that thing where they throw the fish at people. You know, where is that in California? Oh, in Seattle, I think. Yeah, is that what it is? It's like that. We give them bugs as well. Uh, I don't know why. It's a really fun ritual when we do that about once a week. Did so, you already say how old he was? Um, he, we think he's about 15. Wow. Yeah, so we're not quite sure since he was rescued. Um, he was rescued young, so our guesstimate is about 15 at this point. What? Um, and their lifespan is usually around 10 to 15 years, at least in the wild. Obviously, in a place like this, they have a little less to worry about. So, um, Owly is his name. He probably wouldn't have survived very long out there not being able to fly and being a bird of prey. Kind of rely pretty heavily on that. I caught a glimpse of a sloth. We're going to see a sloth. Oh my goodness. There's a sloth right here. So this is a uh, Louie. Um, he is a uh, two-toed sloth. He is we 10 years old. What is he you can eating? see what he feels like. It's called a leaf eater biscuit. Oh. And those, it basically it's is just ground up like leaves and things that's nutritious for this type of animal. Mm. Because gotcha. um, naturally they, they eat a lot of leaves. Her name is Sati. S A T I. Sati is a lesser anteater. There are many species of anteater. She's got this beautiful black vest. She is eating avocado and banana right now. I also have worms for her. And she's already finished her insectivore diet. It's ground up insects. That's what she would eat out in the wild termites, all kinds of things. I'm so happy with this program. Did you know it's brand new? Yeah. This program is barely two months old. So thank you for being here with us. 
Thank you for listening. Thank you for caring. Man, I really liked that animal track. That was really neat. They had so much good information about the animals and we got to interact with the animals. We got to see them eat. It was really neat to see the sloth like a little bit closer up and to get a little bit more of like his story and stuff like that. That was really cool. And then seeing the anteater was really cool. Yeah, I liked Owly too. Owly was oh, fun. Oh, I forgot about Owly. Yeah, he was adorable. Yeah. I couldn't believe he was 15. Yeah, fully grown. Yeah, he looked like a little baby. And it was neat to hear them talk about the conservation work that they do here yeah. and how they have the conservation fund and how much money they've spent on conservation around the world. And one so. of the things that they said was a lot of the animals that they take in mm -hmm. are from other organizations or places that can no longer house them. Or they're closing. Right. So they need a home for these, like a forever home for these animals. And Discovery Cove is able to take some of them in, which is really great. So here we go. We are headed into our relaxation okay, massage back. area. And this is just giving you an idea of where it's at. So it's back in this little area back here. And we're going to go off into our secluded massage. Yeah, it's going to be nice. Holy macaroni. That was, that was so nice. nice. That, that was, was good. so nice. Hopefully we did like a little time lapse of it to kind of show you guys what it's like. That was so amazing. So they could do four different areas. They could do head and shoulders. Which I did head, neck, and shoulders. And I did back. And I think they can do... They can do legs. They can do legs. And there was something else. Something else. I don't know what it was, but there I was did a, back. There was a fourth one, yeah. Yeah. How did you, like, did she... Amazing. Yeah, mine too. She goes after she's done, she's like, I had to work on a couple of knots back there and I was like, yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> I have one like right here in my like collarbone oh. that she kept, yeah. And you guys hear the thunder. So we're going to try to get some food before the cafeteria closes. Yeah. So this closes at 3.30. I don't know what time it is. It's uh, it's 2.30, so we got time. Oh, but okay. the thunder means we can't go back to our cabana. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Shoot. That stinks, but That's okay. we're going to get we... some food and hang out for a minute. Yeah. So it just started pouring, and it actually is kind of hard to find a spot to sit down when it's pouring because everybody's kind of sitting underneath all the cover. But this is what I got. I got a hamburger, some french fries, a little bit of pulled pork right there, some fruit, and a cake. And we also got some fish, some corn on the cob, some cheesecake, some salad, some sort of pasta, some pasta marinara, and some macaroni and cheese. Well, I wanted to show you guys this um, salad. It's actually shrimp salad. It was shrimp and noodles and crab. And it looked like real crab, not that like imitation crab. I was craving fruit after the massage. And I do you think that's because we're like dehydrated? I know that I was. Like after the massage, I drank a whole bottle of water. All the fluids like moved to where she's working. Oh, that makes sense. I don't know. But it was so amazing. Like I highly recommend it. Me too. It was it was awesome. Okay, so now that we're back at our cabana, I did want to give you guys just a little bit of info on the massages, especially if you are wearing like a one-piece bathing suit or um, a bikini or anything like that. They did say that they will work around your bathing suit. I brought a like a change of clothes just in case because I wasn't really sure what to expect. So I changed, but you don't have to. You can just wear your bathing suit and they can work around any straps or anything like that. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that in case you're curious if you're gonna book one. So now we have to make one more stop and it's gonna be our coldest stop. We're gonna go into the Grand Reef with the rays and the tropical fish and everything. Mm -hmm. And I brought something special. This will be our first time using this so I don't know how it's gonna turn out. But this is a giant attachment for the GoPro that makes it so it can see above water and underwater at the same time. Let's give it a try.
so the reef was really cold, uh, but I did get to see some very beautiful fish. And I don't know how the above water, underwater thing turned out, but I think maybe it turned out kind of cool. We're gonna go take it over into the fresh water and try it over there. That was our day at Discovery Cove, our absolute favorite place in Orlando. Like you, there is not, in our opinion, there is not a better day that you can spend in Orlando than you can spend at Discovery Cove. I think it's definitely worth the price. I know that when we first started coming here, it was it was one of those things that were like, this is pretty pricey, but it's so worth it because of all the food that you get, it's all included. All the drinks are all included every towel, sunscreen, you really don't have to bring anything. And I think that's, it's just an easy, fun day. Yeah, and it's very relaxing too. Yeah, especially now with those massages, oh my gosh. Yeah. And then getting to see the behind the scenes stuff with the animal track. That was so cool. Yeah. I think, what was your favorite? Like, I think my favorite was seeing the anteater. Yeah. Cause I've never seen an anteater that close. I've never seen an anteater that close either. Yeah, it was neat to see their little tongue and it was awesome. Yeah. And I liked Owlie too. Owlie is pretty awesome. Oh, I keep forgetting about Owlie. Yeah, he <laughs> was great. <laughs> Highly suggest coming out here. So with that being said, we are off and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And now, and now it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.